Did you know, according to today's new definition, you're a bigot. Hi, and welcome to Faith in Front. Today, we want to address this subject of bigotry. Now, coming up, I always assumed that a bigot was basically a, a racist. It would, you could use the words interchangeably. If someone said that person's a bigot, I just thought it meant that they discriminated against someone based on their skin color. That's basically what a bigot was uh, all my life. Uh, well, not now, uh, but that's what I knew it as coming up is that if you discriminate against someone or you treat them uh, in a racist way and it's confirmed that that's what you were doing and not a misunderstanding, that will make you a bigot. But I went to Google and I thought I would just read the new definition of what it means to be a bigot because I'm hearing this word thrown around and being applied to people that are not discriminating against someone based on their skin color. It's just, it's, I hear it a lot now. So I said, well, let me just, let me just read what the definition is. And I was surprised. So this is what it says. This is the definition of a bigot. A person who is obstinately or unreasonably attached to a belief, opinion, or faction, especially one who is prejudiced against or antagonistic towards a person or people on the basis of their membership of a particular group. Now, when I was coming up, you were a bigot because you treated me the wrong way because I was black. It wasn't because I was a member of the black community. You were a bigot because of the color of my skin. But you see how it's now based on someone being part of a, a group? You, you, you catching that? Because now the umbrella or the net has been widened for those who could be thrown into the bigotry net. Because yes, I am a person who is obstinately attached to my beliefs. But what is this really saying? I don't care if it's your Bible. If it makes this person that's a part of this group feel that you're being antagonistic towards them, you're a bigot. You catch that? Slick. But it's been really effective, though. Because now there's so many people being called a bigot. And this, it has nothing to do. It's all up here now. Do you disagree with me about this? And I don't care that it's in your Bible. If it makes me feel that you're being antagonistic towards me, you're a bigot. Now, the problem with this definition is that anyone can be a bigot because it says that it can be your belief or an opinion. Catch that. Opinion. Well, if your opinion of me is that I am a bigot because of my biblical worldview, I could basically say you're a bigot because you're making me feel that you're being antagonistic towards me and my beliefs. You're being ant antagonistic towards me because I'm a part of a, what does it say here? This is, this is something on the basis of membership of a particular group. Hmm. Yeah. I'm a member of a particular group of Christians. And if I feel that your opinion about me, because I am a Christian is antagonistic, then basically I could just throw bigot right in, right back in your face. You see how it gets kind of silly, but that's where we live. It's nothing really true. It's not true. But we're living in a time where it doesn't have to be true. It just has to be effective. It doesn't have to be true, just effective. And it has been effective because a lot of Christians are now running 
because they don't want to be called a bigot. So it's been effective. But here, here's the encouragement. Here is the encouragement. And it's found in Matthew, the fifth chapter, the 11th verse. And it says, you are blessed when they insult you and persecute you and falsely say every kind of evil against you because of me. That's what Jesus is saying. You're blessed when people say false things about you for Jesus' sake. Because, yes, when we stand for what's in this Bible, regardless of who it offends, regardless of who may have a different opinion, yes, you're going to be persecuted. And this whole new you're a bigot is just a form of persecution. It's just a form to make you be silent about your convictions. But it's interesting that the person that's yelling, you're a bigot, you're a bigot, they're, according to this new definition, they're being a bigot too because they're being antagonistic towards you. Like I say, it doesn't make sense. doesn't have to make sense. doesn't even have to be true. But be encouraged. Just see it as a blessing. And I know when it's happening, that's kind of hard because we don't like for people to say things about us that's untrue. But when you look at what Christ is saying, he's saying, hey, it's going to happen. When you stand for the standards that are in this Bible, you're going to get called all kinds of names. But you're blessed when that happens. So I hope this has been beneficial and helpful in some kind of way to encourage you and uh, just give you what you need to stand because we are in some crazy times right now where sometimes, honestly, I feel like I'm in a twilight zone. Uh, but be encouraged. Uh, please like and subscribe if this has been beneficial. I know I haven't said that in a while, I guess because I, I just don't like saying it over and over. But people who have hundreds of thousands of viewers, they say it all the time. So I guess I need to say it too. As always, keep your faith in front. Thank you.